continuing the restoration work on this Crest Audio CA6. Uh, over the last few nights, uh, you know, during the work nights, I've just spent a few minutes here and there whenever I could make time to reassemble everything. And uh, I've got everything back in except for the front panel board because I need to replace the uh, volume control potentiometers. And uh, the good news is I did get a brand new pair of potentiometers and also brand new decals for the front and back. I got two of each. I've got uh, a new set of fan grills with removable filters. Uh, so that'll make the back look much nicer than the broken ones that were on there before. I've got a brand new pair of ADA dual ball bearing fans. And I uh, got the connectors installed on those and they're all hooked up. I forgot to put the uh, little cardboard shrouds back in here though. I gotta take care of that before I put the top cover on. But uh, first things first, let me take care of these volume controls so I can get this board reinstalled. Here it is, ready to be reinstalled. Uh, you can see I've got the knobs on already. And the reason for that is you cannot take the knobs on and off once that board is installed in the amp. They have a flange on them that is larger than the hole, so they cannot be removed unless you take this board completely out. The only upside to that is somebody can't just walk up and pull the knobs off your amp and take them. Uh, the downside is if you need to do any servicing or, or if your knobs get broken, anything like that, you've got to waste your decal and pull the board out and you know do the work and then put it back in with a new decal. And uh, since it's outside the amp and you can't really tell what position your controls are in, uh, you have to have a new decal for that too and lay it over the control panel and make sure you've got the knobs in the proper position on each potentiometer shaft. They have to track evenly in each direction and be even with each other and also match up with the markings on the decal. For these potentiometers I noticed that the center position was where the the split in the potentiometer shaft was completely horizontal ended up being about in the center. So it was it was pretty quick for me to to get all this stuff aligned. So this board's ready to go. I'm going to get it put back in here and uh, we'll go from there. Check this out. Nice new front decal. It looks a million times better. I'm going to have to do a uh, third quick follow up on this because I'm just so anxious to mess around with this and uh, get the video uploaded tonight because a lot of you, I've had uh, quite a few of you ask if it's had any progress over the last week and uh, so I wanted to do a quick video. And uh, in the next video, I'll do a bit of testing. But here it is. The volume controls actually track perfectly even now, so that's all good. The only thing I don't like, these new fans, uh, although they move good air, they are quite noisy. And uh, with the thermal sensors on this, it actually runs the fans at a much lower voltage, like 8 or 10 volts when it's cold, and then up to 12 when it's at normal temperature. <clears throat> and anything above that, it can go up to 
24 volts, which is the full voltage of the fans. Um, but these fans actually won't even turn if the amp is cold enough. And uh, when they do run at a lower voltage than what they're rated for, they tend to make a lot of motor noise. But that's kind of annoying, but other than that, everything's working great. Um, I'll uh, do a follow-up on this and tweak everything, make sure the bias is proper, and hook it up to the oscilloscope and see how the signal looks at full power as well. So uh, hopefully that'll be later this weekend. This is Christmas weekend. It's going to be very busy, so I'll see how it goes. But this is where we stand so far. <clears throat> And also, the top cover. Uh, one of the reasons I don't have that sitting on there quite yet is this corner is very bent. It's the, uh, the front right corner. And looking at it, that screw hole is like pulled through. So it looks like somebody was taking the screws out to take the cover off, got to the last one and the head stripped out, so they just rage ripped it. And... Uh, bent that whole cover pretty good so I gotta straighten that out and uh, before I put that back on and other news I've been very busy putting together some more things like this table saw you guys can probably guess what I'm gonna start building very soon <clears throat> I can't fully assemble this table because it's so big that it won't fit through the doorway and uh, of course it's not gonna be in my workshop here it's gonna be out in another part of my basement I've also got this router jig, the uh, M-Power CRB7, very cool jig uh, that I'm going to use for doing circle cuts and edging and things like that, which is going to be installed on this router. I just picked this up uh, a few days ago, brand spanking new, got a plunge base and a fixed base, this is a Two and, a, two and one quarter horsepower. Uh, not the best thing out there, but certainly not the worst either. It's going to be lots of fun, lots of things to build. And uh, I've also got some sanding equipment out in the garage that I got to bring in and set up, and of course, also a dust collecting system because I'm going to be running it in the house, uh, actually, out in the part of the basement over by where the server rack is. This doggone thing is so big that I can't even get it all in the frame. Uh, it took three of us to stand this thing up after I got it put together because it's like 400 pounds. I kid you not. Cast iron top. So I'm really looking forward to finally getting into some woodworking and building things that I want to build.